2556. been abandoned lately. It hasn't been used for a long time. Everything's there. We have some graffiti crap right there. I'm not surprised honestly. right there. There's a cup holder. Does it still work? Don't know. It hasn't been used for a long time. Just it out. Oh. Be able to, because look, there's no, uh, oh, there it is. It's right under here. I think I have to lift this to undo the cup holder, probably. Yeah. But it's closed because no one has come to pick up this car lately. Look, did you see the inside of it here? Yeah. This is used what it used to be filled with cars. But it's been abandoned. I'm not sure how long it's been here lately. Probably it's been here for a good long time. Yeah. And you're probably wondering, how can an abandoned auto rack car just be here? Well, I hope you got the answer to that question. So, you probably see over here is that across from here, you can see some auto rack cars. So, that's pretty much an auto rack facility right there. It looks like we have a locomotive right there. I'm not sure what it is. It could be uh, an XW1500 or, or something else. I'm not sure. But it's not a good scene to see it there because it's hard because all the, the bushes and trees are are everywhere. And it's been abandoned because look at the grass everywhere. It's been growing in the trees lately. I mean grow I mean growing over the tracks, I mean. <laughs> yeah, some of it's been grown here. I don't know how long this car been here, but I'm just curious. I don't know why it's been abandoned for. To me, I probably just recommend just take it uh to be new. Or take it to the scrapyard if they're not going to use it that much. I prefer to me, don't take it to the scrapyard. It looks good as new. I mean, not good as new. But it looks good to be rebuilt into something. So I'm going to show you the other side of the couple. Here's the... I think this is for the brakes, probably. No, it's for the... this. Yeah, and that's not for the brakes. There's no brakes on these cars. Okay, here's the other side of it. Gotta be careful. So, here's the other side of the car. So, probably see here, this is actually a switch right here. So they actually park the, the auto wear car just before the switch that goes into those two tracks right there. Clearly to me, I do not know where those tracks go to, 
but more likely a loading facility or not. And for the switch, uh, it's won't be able to turn it or anything because it's locked. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm not sure if the coupler works on here. It may not because I tried the first, I mean the other side, but it didn't work, so yeah. Sorry if you can't hear me while I'm trying to, it's a little, I gotta get over these tracks, it's kinda hard. So here's the knob right here. So, ugh. These hard open, these cars, very hard. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think you would probably be opening these cars. So yeah. So, um, this is all I gotta say. Um, I'm hopefully one day this car could be either be taken away or it's pretty much gonna be here for its entire life, pretty much. It's kind of sad too to see cars abandoned, but it's some occasionally it's happened sometimes. All right, guys. So this is all I'm gonna show. Uh, I'm not sure. There's some other areas I like to see. As a there's some other stuff I like to see because on occasionally I saw it bend a bridge right by. But I'll show you in another video if I get a chance to go over there. Anyway, this is all for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Okay, so before I actually go, I actually forgot. I actually spotted this, some metal. I actually spotted some railroad spikes and plate things that hold the rails. Very interesting. There's some other spikes here too. Anyway guys, so that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.